I'm looking here for here at Spear Horse and with this um, tribal community experiment is how people can come together to look very deeply into themselves to discover how do we find ourselves in a natural way? How do we how do we refine again our or be with our natural spontaneity, our original nature? And so what is our original nature? Including what is our original femininity or our original masculinity? Or what's our original community about? Everybody longs for community, and that's what brings people down here. I say I want to reconnect with others, and I want to reconnect with community, and, 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 and the sense of being a big family and so forth. But nobody knows what that looks like. They only have the longing, they have the place in them that is unfed or unsatisfied that wishes to connect, that wishes to be held again by that. And what I've seen is people bring these very deep needs to be seen and to see to be part of, to move as, as a tribe would have done in ancient days, 150 people, everybody knows everybody, everybody knows everybody else's kids, everybody has a certain level of intimacy and recognition, even if they don't like each other, which is not important. What's important is just the sense of connection, the sense of moving in a much bigger body. And that reflected in wild, natural nature. We were longing, but Especially me, I was longing. I was born in a big city and I wanted to belong to a small village. So the idea of creating this little um, connection with people and creating living like a village a few days a year and working in the world, there is no separation, everything is sacred, but come together and have a place where our dreams meet. And something happened that so many people w were longing and dreaming the same thing beyond words because we didn't actually say anything very much about that. We just advertised an event about stories and Shivan became a really accomplished storyteller. Green yard, sunny places. And I'm marveling much at these Ask Nifkanor the meaning of these things. She replied, Heed not what you see, for all of these are nothing compared with what you should see in Chernanov in the land of you. Here it's a very strong sense of community and respect for each other and for the land that brings us all together, that lets us uh, connect and communicate in a way that we've just we just don't really do anymore and it it's so incredibly meaningful in that way I mean here you'll have a conversation you'll have 10 conversations that mean so much to you in a day more than you might have in a year moments that just touch your soul and your heart and make you think yeah this this is something this is something unique and beautiful that I don't really feel at any other point. streams, rock pools, mountains, forests. Somehow though we, we managed to find a place where we can experiment, where the, the people use a small little patch of land and around them are hundreds of acres of land that's allowing to, been allowed now because we bought it, allowed to return to its wild and original natural state. So these experiments are going side by side. The land knows exactly what to do that the flowers are returning, the trees are returning, the species diversification is happening, there's more birdsong. People imagine that these tame square fields are nature. They're not. They're an offense to nature. They're an industrialization of nature. And they're also, you can get into the politics of it, they're also paid for by powerful forces that wish to, if you like, at the end of the day, turn nature into money. People got together to 
form a charity to buy the land when the farmers were wanting to sell, they offered it to us. And immediately the teenagers said, we buy it. Just the fact that they actually protected a piece of land which is forever home to the wild and to the, the wild in us, where, where our, our life force is fed, and the wild around us, that it won't be a caravan park. It really made it very, very uh, symbolic. <laughs> Immediately, it's not like you have to necessarily build yourself up to fit in or be connected or or to find your place that comes with time but also you you'll get that sensation straight away that this is something that you could be part of and it's 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 unique it's a community it's a fe the feeling of community and we rarely find that in our day-to-day -day lives so it's almost alien coming here together but it's just the most beautiful and magical thing. We don't you, uh, try to live here all the time, so those of you who want somewhere to, to move in, forget it. This is just an experiment. What's he allowed to do this for three days, nine days, 30 days, 60 days, like that? To, to taste it in, a, in an excellent form that has a lot of energy poured into making the form, making the structure solid, so that there is a lot of use of spiritual practice or the arts of the shared collective projects, of the temple building and so forth, so that we're on the case doing something, but it's done with that wild, natural, spontaneous chaos that's part of nature. Not a structure, not written down, not schedules, not something that limits people, not, not a box that people have to fit into, but seeing what each individual looks like, what each individual could possibly expand or flower or flow into and let everyone find their place, which doesn't take too long, but it has to be allowed a certain kind of flow or spontaneity, which is why I started talking about the Tao of natural community. And leave people alone and see what they do.